yo what's going on guys and today we're talking about my wizards as you guys know i'm a wizards fan and also a timberwolves and magic fan so all the teams i've supported everywhere i've lived in my life before moving to kansas and now moving back to florida but it's been you know a bit of a painful ride as a basketball fan but we're hearing my wizards who have technically the deal isn't finalized but technically chris paul is on our deal we traded away sadly jordan goodwin and isaiah todd in the bradley beal deal but we're looking to reroute chris paul and according to sham sharania during an appearance on the pat mcafee show chris paul is allegedly either going to go to the la clippers or warriors if we trade him because we know we're gonna he could still be bought out and become a free agent which would allow him to sign with any other team than the suns under that scenario paul would likely decide between the clippers and the lakers but if he were to be traded right now it'd be between the clippers or the warriors now you're thinking how would this happen hmm because paul has only guaranteed 15.8 of his contract this year but the, his fully 30.8 million dollar deal is now guaranteed due to the deal which makes it financially lucrative transaction for him because he had a trade kicker in there so if he got gets bought out it's going to be lakers or clippers but the warriors are in the running right here for the trade now you're thinking how would they do this trade hmm now we're thinking warriors they would have to be able to clear 30 million dollars how would you do that well, we've heard rumors that Jordan Poole has been receiving calls, all right? Jordan Poole right now makes this upcoming season, he will be making $27.9 million. Now, this could be an overpay, and it might not need to only include Chris Paul. But if the Warriors were to send Jordan Poole, Jonathan Kaminga, and maybe like Pat Baldwin and Ryan Rollins, which is right there, that's about, if you combine all those salaries, that's about $37 million. The Wizards can send you Chris Paul, okay? Chris Paul, we can send you, which is 30 million, 30.8 million. Then we can also send you a combination of like Corey Kespert and Denny Optia or DeLon Wright or Monte Morris or Daniel Gatford in combination with there. If we sent you Paul and Gatford, you, you wouldn't be able to get anything else. But if you wanted, to send Kaminga, Ryan Rollins, Pat Baldwin, and Jordan Poole, we could send you not only Chris Paul, but we could send you a combination of Corey Kespert, Anthony Gill, Xavier Cooks, and Denny Obdia, and you guys would be able to get not only Chris Paul, Denny Obdia, Corey Kespert, Anthony Gill, and Xavier Cooks, which is four players for Ryan Rollins, Jordan Poole, Jonathan Kaminga, and Pat Baldwin. I don't know if that's like, like you get a lot more vet guys, or you could also, if you wanted more points, like I think if you're trained for Chris Paul, I don't think you'd want Monte Morris or DeLon Wright. You'd more want Corey Kespert who, or Denny Abdia. Denny Abdia is like a combo forward who's a good playmaker, secondary playmaker, and a good, you know, versatile defender who still has room to grow as a scorer and a three-point shooter. Corey Kespert's a dead-eye three-point shooter who's a better defender than people give him credit for. So there's two guys that they probably want. Daniel Gafford's a good center. They could also get a sign-in trade of Kyle Kuzma in there or even a sign-in trade or just have an accept the option of Christoph Porzingis. They could figure something out there. We know that they're interested in Christoph's. You know, Xavier Cooks was the MVP of the National Basketball League of Australia. He can be traded. Anthony Gill's a good, you know, backup power forward that could fit in there. There's players on the Wizards roster that they could include there. There. the Warriors also have the this their pick in this year's draft the I believe it is what the eight I'm blanking on the Warriors pick right now and the Warriors pick in this year's draft is the 19th and they can still trade that so there, there's options out here so I want to hear your guys' thoughts throw me some trades I was just spitballing so let me hear your thoughts what trades you would do so